Hi everyone, in this video I'd like to explain a frequent question about an important condition for CT sizing in CEPAM Series 80 Transformer Differential Protection. In coming minutes, I'll explain why this condition is not just a recommendation and it's essential to be considered. These conditions are clearly explained on page 220 of Protection, Metering, and Control Functions User Manuals, CEPAM Series 80. First, nominal current or base current of power transformer should be calculated on both sides. I mean, both primary and secondary windings. The primary rated current of CTs should be sized between 0 0.1 to 2.5 of calculated current. As an illustration, for a power transformer of 33 to 6.9 kV and 6.3 MV ampere, primary winding base current is 110 amp and secondary winding base current is 527 amp. So the CTs located in primary winding should be sized in range of 11 to 275 and CTs located in secondary winding should be sized in range of 53 to 1318. What is the likely consequence if we don't meet these conditions? Using CEPAM configuration tool SFT2841, I'm going to explain. In SFT2841, CEPAM series 18 model T87 is chosen. In CEPAM setting, there is a part that we can set transformer particular characteristic. So here we can set rated apparent power of transformer. I use my example values. So I set it to 6.3 megavolt ampere. Also, we can set rated voltage of winding one and winding two here. So I set 33 kilovolt and 6.9 kilovolt. As you see, SFT will calculate the rated current of both winding. So here in CTVT sensor part, we set 110 amp as base current of transformer. And for sizing a correct CT, we should size a CT around 110 amp, but in range of 11 275 CT. So I will choose 150 and I will set it. So we sized in range 11 to 275 correctly the CT. Now I just check in protection and I check differential protection. As you see, we are allowed to enable protection because we, our CT is in range. So the relay accept to enable transformer differential protection and we can set whatever we want. But if we size CT out of range, so I will choose a number above 275, let's set it to 300. So for sure, SFT will accept it, but again, I check it in differential protection. As you see, we are not anymore allowed to enable differential protection. So here I just remind you, this condition is just related to differential protection. If I go to other current protection, like, okay, phase over current, for sure, I'm allowed to set it. Jump to conclusion. Meeting following conditions are absolutely indispensable for a correct CT sizing in transformer differential application for CEPAM series 80 protection relays. Out of range CT sizing means we won't be able to set transformer differential protection. At the end, I would like to remind in this video CEPAM configuration tool SFT2841 version 16.4 is used. The publisher of this video is Smart Protection and Control Expert Team. Thank you for watching.